God damn, I literally have the sun from the window in front of me beaming in my damn face. Give me a second and let me get this lighting in here sorted. Hold up. Alright, that is so much better than having the light, like, blasting in my eyeball, <laughs> frying my retinas. So, I am in Lolita. This is the first official Lolita vlog I have done in 2023. And you have Otakon in the panel I did to thank for this. Because, let me just start, before we start officially, let me start by saying... I appreciated everybody that went to my panel and they had a, people had a good time. I feel like people learn stuff. I fucking learn stuff because there's a, there a person in there that was um a seamstress. Oh no. Oh no. Here comes Raven. <laughs> um, there's a person in there that was a seamstress and explained the nuances how like you may or may not be able to get a Lolita dress made bigger because there's only so much fabric to stretch around so that was clutch on that young lady some people taught me some stuff we all had a good time we learned we laughed we did some stuff it was great so this is why i'm doing this today it's kind of like a brief recap of the things that i covered in the lolita the buying lolita panel so i covered how raven if you damage my new Hallberry outfit, I'm going to be mad. But since you want to come up, okay, move this. Coming up. Sorry about that. So, oh. <laughs> give me a minute, please. Here, I let. Papa went to a derby, a car derby, <laughs> and was trying to get me to go. Hang on, let me bring this down a little bit. Yeah, he was trying to get me to go to a car derby. Do you not see how your wife, you were just at the panel your wife, your literal wife gave about the Lolita stuff. Why do you think I want to watch cars crash into each other at random speeds? Why? Why do you think this is something I'd be interested in? Can we watch it back there? Can we watch mommy's new damn dress? Bro! Oh my god! <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the wrap up and she's literally standing on my hand because I'd rather her stand on my hand than my dress. I am so sorry about this. But, um, basically I covered a lot of topics in like lightning speed i covered the western perspective of buying lolita especially from my perspective because i got in this on the practical ground damn floor of 2002 and you couldn't nobody was rocking like brand japanese brand lolita i didn't see i don't think i even saw my first meta skirt until like 2007's Otakon. I ain't, I ain't seen, that was the first time I saw somebody actually wearing brand. I didn't see anybody wearing baby till at least 2010, maybe 2009, but I want to say 2010. So it wasn't, it wasn't like that back in the, like when I got in on it. So, and I explained like the Western, my Western perspective on buying Lolita. I explained con currency converters. I explained how um, a good currency converter is worth its weight in gold. And I gave out my currency converter of XE currency converter. That is the currency converter that I have on my phone. I even showed how much like 700 renminbi, which is the Chinese Ruan. But it, I think it's technically called the renminbi. Um, how much 700 renminbi according to Saturday was, it was like almost a hundred dollars. Not exactly. It was like 98, 97, I want to say. So that's how much 700 RMB was as of Saturday. So I explained currency converters. I explained proxy services, both Japanese and Chinese proxy services. Um, I explained a lot. And at the end, we did a fun thing that I was hoping I could have did better. I did it good, and I think people understood, but <laughs> it was a unique little 
take, sorry, I gotta move her foot because I can't, she's like stabbing my hand. Um, but basically, people always online tell you don't buy from Amazon, don't buy from Wish, don't buy from, from Timu. Honestly, don't buy jack shit from Timu. I have a friend who says she just ordered from Timu. I don't know what she bought. She's like, I never got my items. And I know that's been like a common thing that has happened to people where they're like, uh, I ordered some trash off of Timu. They never sent it. And even if you do get your items, it is usually a not well put together item. And it's usually a hot mess. So independent, and they're just getting into Lolita. When I was looking up stuff, it was like they were just starting to get Lolita dresses. And it was just kind of like, I wouldn't fuck with this. So, like, yeah, but we covered all of that. So I bought two Amazon dresses. And it's not this one that my dog is laying on that I'm going to have to murder her. This is a mom actually mom dress. So, this is like, I still love this dress. I haven't worn it in a while. It's well put together. It's very heavy. It's very cute. And I was like, we're going to compare and contrast with this. This is a dress I bought on Amazon. My husband, my husband, who was on stage helping me with some stuff with the panel, even he was like, when I pulled these out the bag, because I literally unboxed this, and I'll get that pink one in a minute. Um, he was like, this dress is kind of short. It's actually, it actually is a sco short. I am not a tall person. I am not a tall woman at all. I am 5'2 and some change, because I keep shrinking. I'm at that point in my life where I'm starting to fucking shrink. I don't got inches to spare, so we need to slow that shit down. That's neither here nor there. But I am not tall, and this barely comes to my knee. So if you're taller than 5'2 and some change, you just know. No, actually, I'm not 5'2. I'm 5'3 and some change. Because I was 5'4 and a half, and then I lost, like, a whole fucking inch. And this was like, what the hell? But getting back, um, this comes slightly to my knee slightly if you were taller than that it's gonna be riding up and it, it's just gonna look a little skankalicious and that's not the look we're going for so yeah it, it, and this believe it or not this one was the better one of the two that i ordered off the of amazon and i was trying and i was telling people it's like i know it's tempting because even my husband was like this is real see-through like, this one isn't as bad see-through as the other one. It's still kind of flimsy. This isn't bad. This was like $60. This was like 58 bucks. It's not that bad. Well, I'm about to show you the bad one. But it does have some fuckery. Because, like, this lace right here is a travesty of justice. I remarked on this on the pink dress, but I didn't see that until I saw this, this today when I was thinking about this shit. Fucking safety pins. These are not supposed to be via safety pins. I'm, oh my God. I have the correct thing to change these fucking safety pins out. So the plan for this dress and its pink counterpart, I mean, it's not terrible. It's just not, you can do so much better for, for almost 60 bucks. Let me show you better for like, I want to say for $40. Let me show you better for $40. Hold up. All right. This is an Infanta dress that I got. Um, I told my my disgust for Benner. I told that story. Um, but this was a dress I was supposed to get from Benner. But ended up getting it from um, Lolita42. This is an Infanta dress. This, I want to say, was like $40. And it's not all flimsy. It's not cheaply put together. But it wasn't an arm and 70 legs either. So, yeah. This, I love this dress. I can't wait to wear it. It's, it's like, it's not super heavy. It's lined. It's got lining in it. Like, I feel it. Yeah. Lining. See that? This fucking monstrosity, it has no lining in it. None. It's inside out. There's no lining in it. 
one thing because i did pass this one and i'm about to show you his pink counterpart i passed them around so people could see because it's really important especially newbies that you see and understand like this was 60 bucks this was like 40 and it's like much better crafted it's well way better put together than than this one and definitely the pink one i'm about to show you so like you can get beautiful lolita for not that much if you're willing to kind of wait I, and it was and this was a thing and i didn't really i touched on this a bit that I know when you're new and you you're like you're just discovering Lolita and it's just like oh my god everybody's so pretty and I want to get in on all this pretty and I want you to get in on the pretty too but I want you to be smart about it I don't want you to just buy the first thing on Amazon and this is a thing this dress this dress and the pink one I'm about to show you both got excellent reviews they got great reviews they were not, they were not great dresses. They were not great dresses at all. They were a goddamn train wreck. This one, and this one has known to be the better one. Let me show you this pink mess. If Raven would get off of it for a moment. This is a disaster. And this is an OP. Disaster. A disaster. An unmitigated train wreck disaster like this is a dress my husband was like this is real thin i can see through this and i was like if my husband who who went mind you left the hell out of here to go watch cars crashing with each other if he can tell the difference between this garbage and like nice stuff you fucking know you know come on now so, and then I got stuck on this because I, I pulled these out the bag. And again, fucking safety pins. Y'all y'all seeing this, right? These safety pins. This is not how you put these bows together. Is the Infanta dress? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. I hung up. I hung up that other blue dress. Um. Yeah. You see that? With the bar thing. Yeah. In fact, here, let me take this off. Because this comes off. This is my eight-piece Hallberry dress. You see this? So, this is two ways of attaching. It's got the clip thing. And it's got a pin. That's how it's supposed to... That's how those bows on both of those, they're pink and that blue dress. That's how they're supposed to be attached. By this fucking thing. Not goddamn safety pins. Where the fuck are them stupid ass bows? I don't know. But this one even has a safety pin on it. And this lace, this lace is just, it's just, it's crying out to me. Help me. Help me. I can't help you, man. It's just, there's no help for you. And I can't get over this safety pin bullshit. The fuck are we doing? And the thing is, like I said, these both these dresses were high marked reviewed. Like, oh, I've never felt so pretty. And I'm just like, oh my God. Oh my God. And I bought these as examples of what not to fucking buy. That you can get a nice Infanta outfit for like 40, 40 50 bucks. You might have to put a little in the ship and then you're going to have to wait a hot minute. But I would rather you have to wait and get something that you'll be proud to wear. Because like I said, you don't want to be the one showing up to the tea party thinking you styling, thinking you cute as hell. And then somebody walks up to you and be like, oh, your socks are cute. And I has, and I did tell them, some, somebody fucking said that to me once. And I was just like, bitch, please, I am gorgeous. I had on my black it's now classic, which hurts my heart. But my black meta OP with a with a witch hat. I was fucking styling. I was cute. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. I look good. But I don't want that for y'all. Thinking like, you know, at least I knew I was styling. I knew what the fuck I had on. And I knew what I had on was quality. This, you thinking you doing something. And it's just, it's such a fucking disaster. And I'm just like, I can't. 
I, and the thing is, that actually helped people see that, okay, maybe I don't want to buy Lolita off of Amazon. And, and like, I don't want to do those things because it's not great. And exactly, if I could stop one person, because like I said, I know it's, it's so exciting when you find Lolita and you want to know where all this stuff comes from. And what do I chronically tell y'all? <laughs> Rome wasn't built in a day and neither was anybody's fucking wardrobe. And I know, you see those closet posts. Look at my Lolita collection. Oh, it's so, so, so vast and amazing. I know, I know. And you want to get there. Yo, fucking slow. Like my, my therapist tells me all the time, low and slow, low and slow. I know, and it's not that I don't understand that you're you're so excited, you really want to get in on it, you want to be, like, right fucking there, but I'm cautioning that you, if you're, it's just like, in this fucking economy, you really want to put, put good-ass cash on bullshit. You really want to do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. You want to wear something, that, one, that's going to last you a minute, and two, something that you're going to be proud to wear, not something where, again, some bitch coming up to you, oh, your socks are cute. Fuck that hoe. Like, <laughs> like, I just want you all to have what you need so you're, so you, because I love Lolita so much, but sometimes it's a fucking shit show. And it's not that anybody's going to be rude to your face, although I'm sure that has happened to you. It has not personally happened to me, but I'm sure this happened to somebody where they just, their, their core just was not it. And then somebody was fucking rude. And then it frightens people out of the community. I don't want anybody being scared out of the community. Yes, it's fashion and people are going to be assholes. But... I kind of want to say find bravery in these frills because, and this is the thing that pisses me off, and I was thinking about this earlier, I'm like, I don't get how some bitch is going to come up and tell somebody some shit when we step one foot out of our fucking homes and go on a way to a meetup, people in their cars are looking like, what the fuck is happening? When we're walking around, what the fuck is happening? I went literally to the grocery store after a convention yesterday, dressed in this, and people were looking at me like, what the fuck is going on? It had nerd to be in a Lidl, too, and I look like I should be, like, going, some singing, like, the sound of music or some shit. But some lady and her son were like, oh my god, you look so cute! Oh my god, you just look so adorable! And I appreciated that. And I needed to hear that because I have been terrified to go outside of my home with Lolita. And yes, and the panel and the con got me through that. And I think I'm ready to once again get back on that frill horse. So, but I just, I don't want anybody getting scared out of fashion. Because God knows this is fun. This is the best fucking time you can have. <laughs> And I love it so much. And I want people to not be afraid to engage in the fashion. Ugh. You want to look cute. And like I said, you want to look cute and you want to wear something you're going to be proud to wear. And you'll be honored to wear. And I don't want somebody coming up telling you the wrong fucking thing and scaring you off. I'm never going to tell you the wrong thing. If honestly, if you have a question about some shit, like you saw some shit and you were like... I trying, I don't know, should I go for it? Have me look at it and I, I'll let you know, okay, go for it. Or maybe not go for that one. And then I can give you like an alternative to go for. But bottom line, stay the fuck off of Amazon. Because, oh my God, this dress is the worst thing in the world. This is the worst. This is the worst. The blue one is slightly better. It's made with slightly better material. But this is the worst. I think what I'm going to do with these two fucking things. And this is way too big. I kind of have weird body dysmorphia. I don't know what the fuck is going on. So I've got two XL. I don't, I don't know what I was doing. But um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely deconstruct both of these motherfuckers. And reconstruct them. Oh, it's got darts and everything in it. I'll be able to figure it out. And it's got a yoke. 
I don't know if I'll be able to work with this one. This one's a little more complicated. But for being so complicated, it's cheap as shit. But I think I'm going to deconstruct it. Get this sad, uninspired, terrible lace. This got the nerve to be stretch lace. Oh, my God. And whatever the fuck this is, I don't know what the fuck lace this is. It, it's soft, but it's, it's just crying out to me in its pain and suffering. And I'm just like, oh, my God. And I need to get, well, that's a bow that's sewed on to here. But... This fucking safety pin shit needs to stop. And I'm I'm like, I think I'm going to tear these down and rebuild them and do something better. Which is always kind of what I wanted to do with the Hot Topic dress. But I was like, eh, fuck it. I think I'm going to have to do that with these. Because this is a goddamn train wreck. Like, I'm okay with this lace. This lace isn't that bad. But, bruh. That is all I have. <laughs> and I will go do something because, like, I don't even know. But, yeah, it, like, thank you. Oh, and all the people that, that went to the panel that found my YouTube channel, hey, welcome. This is the insanity that the fuck it is. <laughs> and now I can curse. So, but this is all I have for now. And I'm, I'm out of my weirdness with Lolita. So, I think as long as I have a topic that I can attach myself to, I'll be doing probably a couple more Lolita vlogs. I don't know when, but soon. But until next time, later!